So I found this boat trailer at a yard sale for 40 bucks. Look at that, teamwork. So here's the plan. I picked up these angle iron yesterday at the recycle place, two of them for $3. This is some angle iron that I've had. I used it on the Amphibious Go-Kart. I'm gonna box off the front of the boat trailer, make it a big square. It's gonna be 60, that's five feet by nine feet long. A little bigger than your standard four by eight trailer. And I figure I can get three mowers on here. One, two, three. Put the ramps on the side, drive them around up. That'd be a lot lighter than my 16 foot car hauler. So the trailer is now at the welding station. I've got the angle iron here. I'm gonna try to get this jack freed up first. Let's put a little oil on there. Wasn't so bad. Yeah. So I just cut this white angle iron off at 16 and a half inches. The trailer is 60 inches wide, but that gives me a quarter inch on each side to do a little extra welding. Uh, I was gonna make it nine feet long. The average mower is about three feet wide. Some of them are slightly more, so I'm gonna stretch it up. It's 112 inches wide, I mean long, 60 inches wide. I'm gonna clean up, clean up, and start welding. The blue angle iron goes back to there on both sides, then we'll cover everything with plywood. We'll be good to go. Boat trailer update. The front rectangular portion has been welded on. I'm about to get the paint, paint all the weld spots. I tagged it in case somebody wants to try to steal it. And pretty soon we'll be getting some plywood to cover the deck. Picked up some LED tail lights today. And I've got some side marker lights that have been in stock ever since I used to have my camper. I should leave you a link right about here. They never got on the camper, but they do want to go on the boat trailer. Coming right along. So I just painted the fenders. I painted everything up front, not what the deck's gonna cover, except for the very tip of the tongue. That's gonna be cleaned up and painted. Over here I drilled a hole for red straps, bungees, whatever. And then I also mounted a side marker light. The only thing I left, I gotta put the two taillights on and put some decking on it. Gotta get the tag on it. I gotta repack the bearings. Tail light bracket update. I got these two arms off of a rolling office chair. I'm not using them for the chair anymore. And if we take this arm here and we take the light, it's gonna bolt right into those slots. Gotta love that. Then I've got this eight inch scrap metal. I've measured off 12 inches. I'm gonna cut it off on that line. Bend up three, bend up three, and then that goes around to protect the light but then this light can still be seen. And then this attaches to that. Oh, and that one I heated up a little bit and made a little more of a 90 degree angle. Coming right along. So I'm in the middle of making these tail light with protector brackets. And I remembered I wanted to use this metal for my go-kart project, making an engine motor mount. So now I'm having second thoughts. This is what I've got so far. All I need is something to come up, come around and protect the light. So we may save these for the go-kart. So I'm right here in the vise making some rebar taillight guards. Up next, I take off the cutoff wheel and the grinder, cut this off right here, line them up, weld them together, then I can weld them onto the bracket. So my two custom one-of-a-kind tail light brackets with rebar protectors have been welded up. I'm gonna dry them up, clean them up, and paint them up. Then I'm gonna put the tail lights on. Then we'll mount them on the trailer. So now I've got the lights sitting in place. That's what they're gonna look like. I'm putting some Osfo on the rust. This treats the rust and gets the surface ready for painting. And they must have kept this formula for a long time because it smells just like you smell when I used it as a kid for rust. It's now time to bolt on the tail light brackets. I should post a picture of these before the video comes out and see what people think they are. So here it is, the bracket is mounted, the tail light is mounted. I wrapped it up and repainted on the other side. This is what it really looks like. And I hear a frog. 
So here on my trailer project, I got a lot of the painting done, the lights are done. Um, I need plywood now, and I'm up to about 70 bucks on the whole build. When I put the trailer lights on, I use some liquid electrical tape. Love that stuff. When it goes through the frame, I put some silicone around it to keep the wires from rubbing everywhere it goes through the frame. And then occasionally, I'd weld a little spot with some silicone to hold the wire in place. That's leftover silicone from the bathroom project I just finished. Just redid the whole kid bathroom. Stuff like that. And the front marker lights are wired too. There's a few more spots to touch up with paint. Put the plywood on. Get a tag for it. And then think about building some fences around it. Yeah, and then we're done. Oh, and one other thing you didn't see. I put some reflective tape on the back. I'm a big fan of reflective tape. I already had it in stock. I got it on sale one time. I bought all they had. Oh, and the bar, uh, not the bar bar, but the uh, rebar that goes around the taillights. I got one extra piece. Watch this. So this jack is all rusted up, and I doubt I'll ever use it. But I could weld this piece of rebar on, and that'd be a handle when you go to pick up the tongue. I am seriously thinking about it. I'll let you know. I just came back from the hardware store. Got 10 deck boards. These are 10 feet long. Two already on the trailer. Let's get the other eight over there. This is what it's looking like. I'm going to have to cut off 9 inches from this end. And I'm going to probably just put bolts through here, bolts through there. Call it done. But this is basically what it's going to look like. i got to order a dust cap online. That's some kind of oddball size for the other side. I now have 5 of the boards cut. 5 of them to go. i got the chop saw sitting right there. I slide them from here to there. Cut them. Put them in place. Then we'll screw them down trailer decking update. I got the drill ready. Drill bits in. I got the first board. It's being held in place right where I want it. I'm going to do this edge, the other edge, then we'll space everything in the middle evenly. I found these anchors. I'll probably put one here, maybe one there. In the back we've got the rebar. In the front we can do a hole. It's coming together. Now the deck is all bolted down and in the back I've got a 2 before in there and I'm screwing down into it. And that sandwiches it down, clamps down on this back angle keeps us from rattling around. I got two more screws to put in. Here on the trailer I've got an anchor point on this side, an anchor point on the other side, installed, ready to go. As far as tires and wheels go, $12 for both. These tires are just like brand new. And as far as the dust cap, I believe it's an older one. It's going to be hard to find. I found some online, I just haven't ordered them yet. Temporarily, this came off of a laundry detergent bottle. It actually fits pretty good. I might wrap some silicone around that until we get the real ones ordered. Here on the trailer project, and I just picked up a 2 before. Uh, it's been a week or two, and the boards are starting to go wild, especially this one. I'm going to take that board, just like we did on the back, sandwich down in there. That holds the boards in place. They won't be rattling as you get down the road, either. And this board, I had to buy it, but it was so cheap, 70% off. It was a dollar and some change because it had some damage. I don't care about some damage. It's going to be underneath the deck. The front is all buttoned down, tamed up a little bit. Up next, we need to repack the bearings and go get it weighed, get a tag on the thing. I have now got the trailer wiring finished. I had to put this ground wire on. And I put a hook on this chain. I just repacked this bearing. I got a whole separate video. I'll leave you a card right here for that. Uh, and this cap, I trimmed off a little bit and it actually fits pretty good now. It should stay. I'm going up to the way station right now to get it weighed. You have to have the weight before they'll give you a tag for it. That's next. Right here trying out the new trailer. We've got a zero turn, a push mower, and a weed eater. And a few hours later, the yard is done. And as a trade for mowing, we get this, actually, barefoot mechanic gets a craftsman. Been sitting for a while. Got him a new project. Here's a link to that right now on his channel. 